Welcome back to the Crow's Nest. My name is Jay, and today we're taking a look at another Loot Crate Loot Gaming unboxing. For those who don't know, TCN has partnered with Loot Crate, the worldwide leader in fan subscription boxes with gaming, pop culture, and more. If you haven't heard the news, July's theme is Banff, and it includes an all-new Sea of Thieves piece. If you're interested in picking up the crate for yourself, head on over to www.lootcrate.com forward slash the crow's nest to pick up yours today. If you use the link, you'll be helping out me and the channel, which goes a long way for TCN. Don't wait too long though. This month's box is time limited, so buy it while you can if you're interested in the Sea of Thieves swag. With that said, let's take a look at the most recent crate to arrive for me, the Huzzah Crate. Featuring Dungeons and Dragons, Magic the Gathering, Skyrim, and more, let's see what we have inside. Immediately I can tell what's already in front of me. This seems to be some kind of Skyrim towel, some kind of Skyrim blanket. Opening up this out of the way. And immediately I can tell you this is really soft. This seems to be like a fleece-like material. And it says fleece fur on the tag. This is pretty cool. It is the Skyrim logo that we're all accustomed to seeing. And I can see this for sure keeping everybody warm. Um, this is definitely not something for the beach. The measurements are on the larger side, 38 inches by 50 inches. Definitely going to be using this. When it gets cold out, this is this is good. This is heavy duty. Up next, we have this Vikings drinking horn. This is, if you've never seen the show Vikings, you need to do yourself a favor and watch it. This is Floki's drinking horn. This is Floki's drinking mug, if you will. Uh, right away, you can see that this, ooh, this is actually kind of nice. Um, it's well painted. It's well crafted. It's gonna hold a decent amount of liquid in there. Just wash it out first. It's not too pointy at the end, so you don't have to worry about stabbing anybody. It's pretty well made. It's some kind of hard plastic. I like the fade on the tip of the horn. It also comes with this uh, leather holder. Let's open that up for you. It comes with this leather holder that allows you to wear it. Once it's on the right way, it'll allow you to wear it around your neck. It's perfect for cosplay or any kind of other Viking look you're going for. This is really cool. Up next, we have the Dungeons & Dragons Red Dragon Die Keeper. I don't play Dungeons & Dragons myself. I do have a starter set. I need to get into it. And it looks like you could hold your 20-sided die inside. Let's open this box. It is sealed, so let's grab my trusty knife. Safety first, ladies and gentlemen. Cut away from yourself. Never towards yourself. Packaged pretty well inside, and it looks to also have a die. I didn't think it was going to bring that. The dragon is pretty cool. I, it's actually bigger than I thought. It's got a nice red undertone. It's got a little hint of black. The eyes are white. Standard 20-sided die. Nothing too crazy here. This is pretty generic. But once you put it together and you leave it on a shelf or on your desk, this is pretty impressive. Up next, we have this Loot Crate Loot Pin. This is a chalice pin. It's a lot bigger than uh, most of the pins included. It's very cool. If you take a good look right in the center, you can actually, you can actually see the LC symbol for Loot Crate dead in the center. It looks to be a really, really well-made pin back. Magic the Gathering Arena. This is very cool. I do not play Magic the Gathering, but I've always been fascinated with the art, so this is no exception to that. This is some heavy-duty paper. This is like heavy cardstock. Yeah, this is not uh, this is not anything flimsy by any means. You could technically cut these out and frame them if you wanted to individually. Very cool. I love that color green. A druid of sorts. As with other Loot Crate boxes in the past, we have a poster, but not just one, two posters this time. This one is from the creator of Rick and Morty. It must be a promo piece for a new TV show, new show of some sort, new something. Let's open it up. Rover saves the universe. Interesting. Created by Justin Roiland. All right. And the other poster is the Magic the Gathering Arena poster. It seems to have some kind of necromancer in the foreground. Very cool. Again, the artwork there is top notch. I've always been a fan of that. Every aspect of this poster is professionally done. On the reverse of the Magic Gathering poster, we also have the whole list of the items as well as what it could have came with. So instead of the blanket, it could have came with this apron and pin set. Would have been pretty epic to cook with that. And that is the Huzzah box featuring some very well-known licenses. Not a bad haul with the fleece, the die holder, drinking horn, 
pretty cool items throughout. Once again, if you're interested in picking up a crate for yourself or a friend, especially this month, as it has an exclusive Sea of Thieves item, head on over to www.lootcrate.com forward slash the crow's nest to place your order and snag the Sea of Thieves gear while it lasts. Thanks for your support, everyone. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for more. Let me know in the comment section below if you're picking up July's crate. As always, my name's Jay, and until next time, fair winds and following seas.